new online tool could help decrease the number of hungry families in Northwest Arkansas. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Pignate. KNWA's Katie Davila explains why one local food pantry says this could be a more effective way of decreasing food insecurity. Katie. Over 60,000 people in Northwest Arkansas are food insecure, but now those in need can find help with just a click of a button. The Northwest Arkansas Food Bank says it's not just an online map, but a chance for them to provide relief for those who may go hungry. Thanks to the Walmart Foundation and the new online food insecure database, finding hunger relief just got easier. We'll be able to easily look at the map and see areas of, of need. And then we'll determine if we need to put a food pantry there or if we'll have our mobile pantries go there. CEO of the Northwest Arkansas Food Bank, Kent Eikenberry, says this tool will help better serve those in need, like the 20% of people that are food insecure in Winslow. There's a lot of need. We can't provide food for the whole month, but we can put a dent in it. The Loaves and Fishes Food Pantry is the only resource within miles. Perry Hall with the pantry says this map will help show the seriousness of the need in his area. One lady come in and um, she had lost a lot of weight and I, I was wondering if she was sick or something. And what she'd been doing was giving her food to her kids. We tried to up her food a little bit. When you get off the main streets, when you get into the Winslow's, you get into the Elkins, the Huntsville's, those guys are hungry and their tummy doesn't care if they live in Madison County or downtown Rogers. Hall says being the only pantry in the area, they aren't able to fully serve everyone in need. You get 10 people coming in here and you get really frustrated but you get that one family that comes in here and it, then it's worth it. With the new tool, the food bank says the future looks bright. We need to find a way to help them and, and this tool will help us identify areas that we need to work on. Ultimately have a big impact on everybody's movement across the, the market. The food bank says they're taking a very close look at that map now and trying to find where they can provide some relief in the area. For more information, head to our website, nwahomepage.com. In Bethel Heights, Katie Davila, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. Katie, thank you. Springdale Animal Services reopens today after closing because of canine distemper cases. According to a press release from the city, the shelter will go back to its normal hours starting today. Since April 30th, the shelter has checked all dogs to make sure they are healthy. 61 dogs are currently waiting to be adopted. The adoption fees on any dog that, that is already spayed and neutered have been totally waived to approved adopters. The shelter will only send 